Hi there YouTube, welcome back to my second video of the day, uh, straight after my Q&A. Um, this is basically just a little uh, little haul video. Um, I had my birthday uh, this month, uh, the 17th, and I also obviously uh, had uh, Christmas yesterday. Um, and I'm just going to show you uh, basically what I, what I got. Um, so let's start with uh, what I got for my birthday. Uh, so, I think I mentioned this uh, before, but I basically got my um, two uh, horse artillery uh, cannons to make a battery to uh, finish off my 3rd Cavalry uh, division um, with the old Chasseurs de Cheval. So, uh, again, I, I mentioned that um, because I didn't want to get uh, like doubles, I picked up one uh, six pounder and one uh, <coughs> excuse me, one howitzer, and I'm going to say that that's a battery um, because uh, at the end of the day, I was originally going to have like one battery of howitzers and one battery of six pounders, but I thought, well, there's only actually like two or three howitzers uh, in the battery, um, it so. You know, to say that there's a whole batch of howitzers is kind of like pushing it a little bit. Uh, but if I had one of each, then that kind of uh, represents both. Um, and you could just say, well, it's either a battery of howitzers or a battery of six pounders, uh, if, if the rules have to dictate that. So that's basically what I'm doing for those guys. Um, and it also saves me from having to buy uh, two uh, guns, two more guns, um, which would have to uh, source from. Uh, either other companies or try and source other crews and be left with crews that that wouldn't be any use to me so um happy to have those uh so two french uh, horse artillery batteries or well, not batteries cannons one cannon on the howitzer uh the next uh the next thing um is a box of um Perry's Dragoons, uh, funnily enough, talking about uh, my love of cavalry. Uh, now, I've got to say that I've kind of always had my eye on uh, French Dragoons. Um, I always quite like the way that they come dismounted as well, uh, even though um, in the sort of period that I'm using them, i.e., sort of like uh, the you know, sort of later Napoleonic, uh, the later days of. of, of uh, um, 100 days campaign type stuff, uh, they never really um, dismounted um, but I'm glad to have them um, and uh, I will, uh, these guys will become part of um, the 3rd Reserve uh, Division um, or Corps, uh, no not Corps, 3rd uh, Reserve Cavalry uh, Division uh, which which again ticks another box of me wanting to collect some uh, croisiers or cressiers, um, and the basically the the division's made up of two two uh, regiments of these guys and two regiments of uh, cressiers. So that would be uh, uh, that sort of ticks all the boxes for those. And uh, like I say, this 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 will form a um, a, a high, uh, you know exclamation marks uh, a guest guest division uh, to my third corps because obviously uh, they're, they're not really connected um, but yeah so uh, really happy to have some of those um, and uh, you know cavalry or not uh, I, I am you know quite excited for them um, I've already, like I say I've already sort of uh, found the division that I want, want them to be um, but they like I say they're, they're going to be more of a sort of side project because I really want to concentrate on finishing my uh, my third corps and my my British uh, infantry division uh, first, um, so uh, I probably won't be doing these guys quite yet, but I'm, I'm happy to have them. Um, and it, like I say, it also gives me a good way to get some uh, some heavy cavalry as well, um, because I do kind of want to want to get some of those too. Uh, second thing, now these guys, I got some uh, Vistula Legion. Um, obviously, these guys. Um, Aren't really uh, anything to do with 
uh, the 100 days campaign. Um, I believe uh, they were decimated as a legion uh, during Russia and uh, and then reformed into um, a regiment. Um, but at the same time, uh, I do like painting uh, foreign regiments within the French, and these guys look great. Um, and I do particularly like the command figures that you get with these guys. Um, even though you don't get a flag bearer, um, because I have actually managed to get myself uh, the flag, although it's the... Apparently I was, I was doing some research and um, when they were reformed as a, um, a regiment rather than a legion, um, they actually got given a, uh, a French uh, flag um, in the same a similar sort of style as um, French uh, line regiments carry. Um, but whether that was actually used or not, I couldn't actually uh, specifically find any sort of hard evidence, but I thought, you know, I'm going to go with the old, uh, I quite like the cockerel flag they originally had, so I thought I'd just go with that. Um, now you don't actually get a uh, standard uh, standard holder in that set, um, so I actually uh, modified a Perry's uh, stand holder, which I had spare. Uh, and using one of the metal Vistula Legion heads, uh, slapped it on with, with the help of some uh, the old plastic putty again to, to, to sort of uh, help make a collar. Uh, it does need a little bit of tidying up because I haven't really done an, anything to it since I since I attached it. Uh, but yeah, so that's the uh, the Vistula Legion. Uh, again, these guys will be a completely unhistorical uh, guest uh, battalion, um, but at the same time, I do really like them. Uh, so there'll be a worthy little addition because uh, like I say um, although I'm collecting a specific cause um, I do like the idea of being able to add units that I really quite like the look of uh, to add as sort of guest units so that is all of the Napoleonic stuff I got although I suppose you actually black powdery type stuff um, now the main thing that I got for Christmas uh, was uh, the Black Seas uh, set um, and uh, uh, even though this was ordered from Whelan Games I did actually get the uh, the uh, metal figure um, which is kind of useless but still quite nice to, to, to have um, he'll be joining the mountain along with the, uh, the Black Powder 2 uh, Master and Commander figure um, so yeah, uh, I'm not going to bother uh, opening this. Um, again, you know, Napoleonics. Um, I, I've always loved uh, Age of Sail uh, combat. Um, I love uh, Hornblower. Um, I've never read a uh, an actual proper Hornblower book. Um, but like I say, I've always had interest in it. Um, and like I say, although this will become a kind of minor side project, um, I'm not really um, planning on uh, it taking over from uh, my main troops, uh, and I'm not really planning on uh, expanding beyond the box set at the moment, um, because I kind of want to funnel all of my uh, meagre hobbying funds uh, towards uh, my black powder stuff so this will be a, a kind of a, a mini side project however that said I have um, span off and brought a few little extras um, so basically I've got two different types of um, elastic rigging material here um, you've got this one here uh, from uh, MIG um, which was ridiculously expensive. This was like eight pounds, and you only get like two meters of it. So I was really quite disappointed with that. I thought that was a complete ripoff. Um, then I found this. Uh, this is uh, made by a company called uh, Ushi. And strangely enough, um, if you look on the um, MIG box, you'll find that it's licensed by Ushi. So it's basically the same company. Um, now this was uh, 11 pound uh, and it comes with 45 meters or is it even, or is it 65 meters it's either 45 or 65 meters uh, now this is actually slightly thinner than this this is 0 0.3 this is uh, 0 0.03 um, but 
I basically get a huge amount more uh, and I thought this would be great for doing Briggs um, because it's like slightly thinner. Uh, the other thing I got um, was uh, some 1 700th scale uh, figures uh, because I really want to put crew on my ship. Now these things are ridiculously tiny. Um, whether whether I'll actually repaint some of them to, to I probably will actually. I probably put a little bit of paint on a few of them just to, to sort of, you know maybe designate marines and stuff. But I'm not. I'm, I don't plan on sort of fully crewing ships, and I'm only really going to use them on uh, sort of uh, frigates um, or or above. I mean, I, I probably will increase my fleet size uh, in the future, but I, I don't really have any plans to at the moment. Um, but I did manage to pick myself up uh, some of these guys, uh, one seven hundred three. I decided to go for uh, World War One uh, Royal Navy because I preferred their poses. Um, a lot of the other figures that are available have, have got them like waving flags and stuff like that, um, and I didn't really like that. So I decided to get the ones that that looked the most sort of, uh, um, you know. Uh, Either standing there or saluting or waving, rather than uh, having sort of like uh, uh, signal flags. So that is, uh, I didn't get those for Christmas, obviously. Uh, and then, of course, obviously, I've got my sprue that I had in my uh, War Games Illustrated uh, a bunch of brigs, um, which will get added uh, one, once I manage to sort out some sales from. I'll probably end up having to go to. Um, Warlord games and, and buying some cells because I don't particularly want to print them off. My printer's uh, low on ink and they'll probably just do a really poor job of printing them off. Um, so that is that and that is my little tiny uh, very quick little hobby haul uh, and strangely enough talking about sort of side projects and things that that, uh, that, you, that I end up buying and, and not really doing much with. Uh, I've actually got uh, Cruel Seas um, which is obviously the torpedo boat game which is kind of based on um still in my little bookshelf behind me uh never been touched <laughs> so i guess sometime i'll get around to sort of, sort of doing that um uh, anyway waffling uh that's the end of the video um i like i say i may be back uh maybe uh, either this week or really early into the new year with another video of some sort um but what that will be uh is unknown uh, so uh, until next time, uh, where hopefully I might have something, some progress uh, on my um, painting, um, which is probably, I'd say, probably quite unlikely, uh, the way I've been going lately, unless I happen to have my uh, my flags come through. Um, but like I say, my, my little hobby fund boost uh, will, will um, I'll have some news on that fairly soon. Um, and uh, um, um, you know that's going to really sort of kickstart me off uh, well for the new year. So uh, once again, I uh, hope you all have a, a very happy Christmas and uh, a great new year. And I'll catch you all pretty soon. Bye bye.